For most Americans, sticking to your New Year's resolutions feels almost impossible. Studies have shown only about 8% of people who commit to a New Year's resolution actually accomplish them. And joining us now with advice on how to stick to them and dealing with seasonal depression as well as clinical psychologist Dr. Inger Burnett Ziegler. Good morning. Thanks for being with Good us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Boy, I can only imagine if you have this seasonal depression, it's just only heightened when you can't really go out and do anything. How much worse is it this year? Certainly, you know, about 3% of people experience seasonal depression on average, but this year, indeed, a lot more people might be vulnerable due to being more isolated, due to the pandemic, um, not being able to get in contact with your social support or see your social support system in a traditional way, um, and having our routines disrupted. Routine can be a really important part in maintaining mental health, and due to the pandemic, a lot of people's routines have fallen by the wayside, making folks more vulnerable to seasonal depression this year. So what's the coping mechanism? Is there a way to adjust how you look at things? Sure. Well, in terms of seasonal depression, you know, our moods can be closely associated with uh, exposure to the sunlight. So really taking advantage of those sunlight hours that we have, however few they might be, um, making sure that we maintain a routine, waking up and going to sleep at the same time, um, engaging in pleasurable activities throughout the day, and really maintaining contact with our social support systems. I know that a lot of folks are tired of Zoom and tired of virtual meetups, but that contact can really help folks feel less alone and, and more engaged with the people that love them. I know kids uh, tend to focus on this catastrophizing, but I think a lot of people do that where you think, oh, this is never going to end. You look at the big picture, but there's a way to combat that. Yes, by focusing on smaller things. Sure. So, you know, staying in the present moment, um, identifying the things that are in our control. You know, in the context of COVID, a lot of folks have been thinking about what has been lost. And indeed, quite a lot has been lost this year. Loved ones might have been lost and things that we were looking forward to might have been lost. But in terms of maintaining our mental health, if we shift that to thinking about what has been available to us, maybe we got outside more this summer, maybe we spent more time connecting with friends and family at home because we were less busy with other things and shifting to thinking about what we have in front of us instead of what has been lost can can really minimize some of those feelings. All right, for more information, head to ingerbz.com. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thanks for being with us.